Hello. It is deparkation day for Adam and Gary. And I want to go. I'm staying here. All right, just fold this away. Oh. <laughs> In we go. We are, guess. <laughs> we are back at Port Canaveral. It is looking kind of beautiful this morning. We've got the Carnival Liberty, li Liberty, Liberty, next to us, and uh, we're taking Disney Cruise Lines transfer over to Beach Club. Um, you don't actually have to have like a reservation per se to use the Disney Cruise Line transfer. You just have to say which resort you want to go to. Um, so we said we want to go to Beach Club. We're going to leave our bags there. Just like when you were checking in or checking out, they can hold bags for the day. Leave our bags there, go into Epcot via International Gateway for a few hours, come back, and then we'll get a Uber or something to the airport later. It is time to open our stash of cereal. <laughs> Got milk. Last time to have breakfast on the balcony. Oh, the seagulls are circling. Not my special K. So it turns out the uh, seagulls circling are a little bit more determined than I thought. They uh, were coming for breakfast. I thought, better not. So uh, we're having breakfast inside this morning. Okay, we're doing the final dad sweep. Let's make sure that we haven't left anything, or if we have left anything, we're just checking it's stuff that we've intended to leave, like toiletries that are half empty. Well, not half empty, but like empty. I see, I think we're done. Right. I think we've got everything. I will say goodbye to my first ever Disney cruise with Disney Cruise Line. Thank you very much for bringing me along, Mr. Adam Hatwan. My pleasure, Mr. Gary C. But now we're going to have a little taste, a little dip in the toe of Disney World. Also, if you're um, getting ready to go, I highly recommend just packing like a soft bag in like one of your carry-ons just in case you need some space to take your clothes which is exactly what we did and exactly what we needed um and then we're ready to disembark now mm -hmm. we had a nice time i've had an amazing time this when adam um, asked me earlier on or when we were chilling out yesterday on the adult pool bit what my favorite bit was i really struggled to work out what it was because there's been so many things that have happened that have been like wow moments. Even from even walking into the Enchanted Garden, the um, restaurant last night, I couldn't believe like it was another totally different thing, totally different. And it's all on the ship. It's all on a massive, huge ship. So, yeah, it's just incredible how they do it. But I loved the Beauty and the Beast show and the Golden Mickey. That's my highlight. I love the shows. Um, but also the um, Tisa. Tisa, Tisa the entertainment Tisa host. Tisa the entertainment host. She was everything. She was the holiday for me. She was hilarious. I don't think I've ever... I don't really laugh out loud at like stuff like comedians and stuff that much, but every other word she said I was roaring with laughter. She just was everything. So if she watches this or people who know her or whatever, you are Disney magic incarnate. <laughs> Tisa, we love you. You have served us well, business card, but now we are done. Fairly well. Fairly well, 7150. Oh, never had a friend like me. Yeah! <laughs> Last time dancing to Disney songs on staircases, that's a shame. Goodbye to the portholes of dreams. Literally. Yes. This is the Disney dream. Yeah. If you're not going to breakfast and like a good time to disembark, I recommend about 8 a.m. because that's when second seating has just sat down, so there's less competition to get off the gangway, which is what we're doing now. Bye, thank you. <laughs> Still singing Beauty in the Beast? <laughs> really hard to take pictures of. <laughs> so we're on the bus. 
Um, we just had to show our key to the world card and uh, they checked us off on the list. Um, <laughs> we, put, uh, we put one of the bags up there. And I was like, oh, we need to be careful, we won't forget that. And then Gary was like, that's my mum's bag. My life won't be worth living if I forget it. <laughs> if I forget it, my mum will have a lot to say. <laughs> On the way out of the terminal, we also got a luggage porter, and I highly recommend it because they know which line's going to move fastest. They can take your bags for you. It was much convenient. They brought us all the way to the coach. He liked it. And he was nice. <laughs> Say goodbye to home. Goodbye, dream. You were a dream. You were a dream. See you again soon. If I do another one, I'll be a silver one. A silver member. Now that you've sailed with us, you see. So it's actually arriving at Boardwalk first, and because we're obviously not checking into Beach Club, we're just gonna get off early. We'll let the bus driver know that we're getting off early, but it saves us staying on for an extra stop and getting off. Um, we've also got a couple of dollars to tip the lovely bus driver because he got us here nice and safe and also pretty quick as well. We can go into Epcot, hopefully we'll be in within the next 20 or 30 minutes. So, winning! Oh, Ooh, Skyliner! Skyliner. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Skyliner. So do I. I was sceptical at the start, but I'm really happy now. Nice, easy, breezy, kind of real ride. Love mm -hmm. it. Love it. The answer is D. The Carolwood Pacific Railroad. Did you guess the correct answer? Front face on. No. Who is come round? Hi, welcome back to the show. It's Have been... you missed an hour and a half? <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. <laughs> What's the 411? So, when the Disney Cruise Line uh, transportation bus thing drove up to Boardwalk, I stood up and my phone and my wallet and everything fell. I'd taken my rucksack that I'd just picked up and went to put on, I'd put it in the, in the you know where this story's going, I put the, <laughs> the bag in the seat in front. Anyway, we've trundled off because he's like, ushing people to get off and I was worrying about the dollars the three dollars we were giving him for a tip and I was panicking about that anyway gets off and we realize I've left my bag on the cruise line well, it, it, it was it was going up to the luggage porter and they said how many bags do you have I went one two three four and Gary went where's my rucksack where's my rucksack which has in passport iPad my um, antidepressants and everything so Essentially, what you would expect as someone to have their life in was so, left on a coach. <laughs> so, essentially, the last hour and a half have been ringing around, chasing. Adam went by um, Uber to from here all the way to All Stars movies and all the way and back the bus. to try and outrun the bus. We've had a nightmare, and when we were just calling someone at Port Canaveral to say, Can you stop it there? Like, we're trying all these different ways, so much stress, so much drama, and the driver just walked in and went, is this yours? Because he thought it was ours. Oh, no, well, well, truth be told, I was on the phone, and then I saw the I saw the bus driver walk past. And I was like, "That's the bus driver, isn't it?" And I looked in his hand. And I went, <gasps> "It's the bag." <laughs> so anyway, so so I have the bag. Okay, so we just want to say, Disney cast members, Mir's shuttle service. You literally saved the day. You saved Gary. So I hugged him. You saved me. <laughs> I just burst into tears. And then I gave him $20 for the grave for him. And I'm going to treat us to a nice lunch now because um, I need to sit down to calm nerves and show you some good stuff. So yeah. get ready for some Epcot so, gear. Yeah, but no, thank you to everyone that helped get what, Gary's bag back. What a stress. It's been... I tipped the woman at the front <laughs> $10 because she was so nice calming me down when he was on the Uber and oh god I've had a nightmare. I'm here girls. But we survived. I was like in the Uber back from all the movies I was like looking up how do we get an emergency passport and then I was like oh it's going to take two working days. I was like oh my god we're going to have to stay in Disney World an extra four days or something But like when that. he said that to me down the phone he said right this is what you do. I went on to my insurance people started screenshotting everything if I didn't have any signal. I um considered calling my mum but then I thought no she'll make me a lot worse <laughs> um, yeah so 
Anyway, all's well that ends well. Epcot. Epcot. <laughs> Just looking back to the scenario at hand. Um, Gary was set, when I was going to get get the bag. I was like, "What's like, what's in the bag?" So I can tell the people what's inside the bag. And <laughs> Gary was like, "My Mickey medal's in there. <laughs> oh, also my iPad." <laughs> See, the first thing I thought of was my Mickey Meadow. Are, are we win the, the first thing, thing? The first thing he said this morning when we woke up was, can't believe we won that Disney trivia. <laughs> <laughs> I love my Mickey Meadow. No, so he was, <laughs> imagine, it, it was almost as if like the bag went away. And he went, oh, my Mickey Meadow! <laughs> Gary, your passport. My Mickey Meadow! <laughs> Mickey Meadow, no. What a beautiful result. Yes, it almost makes up for the stress that we've had in the past hour. Does it? <laughs> Does it? Love the Skyliner. Love the Skyliner. Want my own Skyliner one day. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you. We've got Festival of the Arts merchandise featuring Figment. Lovely spirit jersey for only $69.99. Oh, I can already hear him. Where's the pins? We want to try uh, something different because you know, since the last Disney World trip, and it was like the best Disney trip we did, that was our rule. Try yes. something new. Try the new. Try the new. Fresh, we can fresh, fresh. we can go to all faithfuls if the if the if the situation arises. Um, so we're actually going to try the Mexican quick service. Reason being. It's quite a nice temperature right now. It's lovely. And because it's outside, it's very difficult to ever eat there in the heat because sometimes you just want air conditioning for a sit down meal. So uh, we're going to head that way now. There's and we've that. also got fast passes for Frozen Ever After, Living with the Land, and we did have Spaceship Birth, but I don't think we're going to make gonna it. have to leave before oh, that. Okay. One of the artists is actually over there. Doug, Bolly is over there. Ooh. So, as you may or may not know, Epcot is currently going through a massive facelift, and part of that is they're actually getting rid of what's mostly in the middle. Um, so, yeah, as fun. such, they've relocated Starbucks here because Fountain View has since closed. Um, they've also added new restrooms because this part of the park really needed some restrooms, and look how beautiful they are. And another fascinating fact the camera shop is now a pin shop. Is it a fascinating fact or is it just something you want to make sure that I know? I was just letting you know on camera, so oh, it's just out there. Funny that, funny that. I think I could live here. I think I, I could do it, well, I wouldn't work here because it would ruin the magic for me, I think, but I would love to, just because, like, imagine what you're doing, oh, well, you know, you did it two years. <laughs> Preaching to the choir, girl. <laughs> just walking around, all the different festivals, all the things. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was so busy looking at the art stuff, I was like eyeballing it, I didn't look where I was going. Goodness sake. Um, so, Interventions... West, I think, uh, is now partially gone. You can kind of see it behind those buildings. Uh, and they've started work on the central hub bit. Um, so, you know, the, like, the Millennium cables and stuff like that, they're coming down now, I think. If you see... Just to Adair. They've got a Thomas King bye bye. stand. I know that. You're, you're very, you're very unsubtle with your. <laughs> I want to go see. I want to see. Oh, what's the pink thing? That is uh, like a piece of piece of art fabrication. Installation, darling. Installation. <laughs> So as you can see, there's no like forward entry into Epcot right now at the time of filming this. Um, but they have got this fantastic mural where you can paint a square or two and it turns into a big mural of pigment at the end of the day, which is pretty cool. Um, so they've actually got temporary paths that will take you, like when you get to Spaceship Earth, one that way, one that way. I'm just gonna sing over the music because it's definitely copyright music. La 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 la. Our original plan was to do like the arts festival kiosks and stuff, but because we only had like a small breakfast, we, we want something hearty. Mmm. Hearties. Yeah. So that's why we're gonna go to 
the can La Cantina in Mexico. Hi. So we both got chicken tacos. It mm. did take a while. Um, quick service, not so quick. <laughs> Uh, we've got a lovely window view that Gary picked up for us, and we're currently sat inside at the, the pavilion. Yeah, um, currently in the San Angel Inn, San, San Angel Inn, the fancy restaurant that sits by the lagoon. They've opened it up as a quick service dining space. I'm not sure if that's a permanent thing, but it's pretty in here. Mmm, the chicken's great. I was just saying to Adam, I don't need to buy anything or eat anything with flavour. Just plain old Jane me. I'm going to change my ways. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. This is amazing. And by dark side, I mean black beans. So whilst we're a bit calmer, what would you say was your favourite thing you ate? I thought you were going to say what was the scariest thing about losing your passport. I'm like, well, after what we just discussed, having to go to the embassy in Miami, that would be on this. What was my favourite thing I ate? It's going to have to be their desserts. Like, just all of them. Just amazing. So nice. I'm trying to think of the ones that I like. Mine was the spice. I think I loved the spicy chicken sandwich. Also, the duck confit we had on the first day. Oh, that was really nice. Really finely chopped up. Yeah. Sorry, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite. Um, what was your favourite day? It's so hot. Um, what's my favourite day? I really enjoyed meeting Claret Mickey and the, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Seeing everyone dressed up, that was fun. Um, I loved the Castaway Key Day characters. We got to chill out. We actually got the older oh, drink, the Pina Colava. Yeah. But the non-alcoholic one. That yeah. is a highlight. Castaway Key is definitely my favourite day. Yeah. What about, uh, what was your favourite show? Beauty and the Beast. Although, the Golden Mickeys, I know this is controversial, the Golden Mickeys was great. It's always good to see Cosimodo being included in things. He had a very good reaction to that. Um, Beauty and the Beast, my favourite as well. Um, something that could have been better. Something that could have been better. Much better. Um, could have been better. For me, based on the previous trips I've had, our servers weren't as good as previous. Um, so that's mine. Um, I don't know. I think everyone. Um, I'll tell you what yours is. Animator's palette. You wanted to be able oh, to do the drawing. The drawing. They don't do it on this one. No. So I don't know if you've watched Adam's other cruise series with our friend Rachel. If you haven't, link below. It's very good. I watched it. Um, they um, in the Animator's palette on the Magic. They do this thing where you draw a character and then it animates on the screen and everything. I thought I was actually going to do that. But it turns out we just got Crush's coaster, and that was disappointing because you can obviously do that. Not Crush's coaster. Uh, <laughs> Turtle talk with Crush. Turtle. That would have been a very different restaurant. <laughs> very different restaurant. Turtle talk because you can do that here in Disney World. Favorite cast member. It's the torn between two. Nutel, our housekeeping stateroom, stateroom host. host, and Tisha. Tisha. I loved you, Tisa, if you're watching. Tisa, Tisa, Tisa. Tisa and Hotel, they were just brilliant, very, very funny, very lively. I like giving people and not just doing their job, when well, they've got charisma and something, and you walk yeah. away and you go, but I will remember them forever. I might not be able to say her name, or remember her name, but Tisa, <laughs> if you're watching, you are the Disney dream. Yeah, Tisa was fantastic. Nortel was also one of my faves, because she was just, every time we walked past, she was like, hey guys. Hi darling. Um, she was great. I think my favorite cast member was probably Sandro at Guest Services, just because we had a few problems with the onboard account. And he, every like we were walking past once, there was a line at Guest Services, and he was like, oh Adam. And then he like invited me over and he was like, so I've done this for you, I've done this just to let you know. And I was like, wow, like. Without being asked, and that he, was after, he fixed it. That was after seeing us once. So, it was very good. That was really, really good. Thoughts on La Catina? 
beautiful. And everybody there is beautiful as well. What's going on with that? <laughs> It's something in the water in Mexico. Everybody um, looks so good. We, yeah, really nice actually. I quite like the tacos. The chicken was really nice. Um, it was busy, but yeah. I guess it's it's a festival. It's to People be expected. It's, good, it's a Friday. Do you see? I've seen them. I know you've seen them. I saw them as we walked past the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Well, we already know that you're not getting the one on the left. No, because it's got hangy things, and I don't like hangy things. Now, unfortunately, this does have a movie thing, which is usually a no from me. But when I saw this online, I instantly was like, I want it. Because it's a little paintbrush. And that trumps everything. How much is it? Uh, How much? How much? $17.99. Seven? 17 17 one without the moving parts 15.99 what's more shocking i actually prefer that one take back everything i said as i always do <laughs> five I, seconds i changed my mind <laughs> i hate escalators i love escalators sorry <laughs> i'm willing to forgive the moving part i'm not willing to forgive the moving part Spot to take the picture so you get it. This is so good. That's cool. I don't know that they don't spray it. I was going to say, yeah, thank you. Oh, I love cocoa. Yes, Miguel. How are you? Just two, please. Just two, please. Thank Ooh. you. Ooh, sorry. Oh, they're wood, not plastic. I like that. Thanks very much. Okay, thank you. So, you, which one do you want? Five or three? I'll have five. You will get five. Thank you. I'll get three. I will film you doing it, and then I, I, you can take a picture of me doing it. All right. I love how the sponge is perfectly suited. Oh, wonderful. Oh, magic. Oh, look at that. Oh, Fine. perfectly done. Oh, who's the artiste here? Not the, you. Oh, the mural. <laughs> Dear Gary, don't spill I love the fact that you're wearing the colour that you're painting. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Is Gary happy? I am. I finally got to do it. I never thought we'd be here for this time of year. Soaked up the trauma of losing your passport? I mean, nothing's going to beat that. <laughs> <laughs> And they gave a little pass, pass card? Postcard, postcard that shows you what it looks like at the end. So um, we're currently walking back towards where Spaceship Earth is because we want to kind of have a look at like what the layout of Epcot is right now. Um, we're going to maybe pop into Mouse Gear very briefly mm -hmm. um, because there's like a temporary Mouse Gear location because the actual, actual Mouse Gear over there is a, having a facelift as well. So a lot of construction at Epcot right now. So we're on test track side just over there. Uh, the new Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster is coming along well. Well, that's cool. Temporary mouse gear is over here. We've also got some living statues. How good are these? <laughs> got it. <laughs> Nice. It's very nice. Okay, it's a bit wear outy, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a very good temporary. I location. love these designs. It's like the shirt that Adam was going to get. The I think next suits. time I'm just going to raid that whole collection because it looks great. It's so good. We found these things called Wisher Balls, and uh, basically, if you turn it over, uh, you can get one of the four park icons. I think we really want Spaceship Earth. So these are $10, we're going to give it a go. We've been feeling them. We think we've got it. <laughs> we think we've got it. We think we've got at least one. Um, this is really exciting. <laughs> That's fun. That's cool. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Attention span of a gnat. 
<laughs> One minute it's in. I've seen these on Instagram and I do like these. Also got magic bands and stuff and notebooks and homeware. I love homeware. Scoop it all up. <laughs> well, we haven't really got any space in this I'm trip. I'm really excited about this. Ooh, I like that. Yes, there's one for every park. I know, because I've looked them up. Did I need a medium Epcot bag for two little things? No. Did I want it? Yes. Free self. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. What did we get? What did we get? It's the Epcot ball. Yay. Oh, I've got a skill for the mystery bag. <laughs> oh, look how cute he is. Okay, well, let's see if I got was successful enough to get the the ball as well. Oh. oh no. But I do like California Adventure, so it's not the end of the world. Since we were last here, they finished the left hand side of the new entrance and are now working on the right hand side. Uh, so if you look here, this is where we came in last time. Uh, so this bit is all nice and new and finished. The new fountains being worked on just behind those walls. Look, I'm still there. It is meeting great. So as you see, we've got new planters, we've got new trees planted. And I think when it comes to spring, these are going to look pretty, pretty darn beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the orchard, like the mini little orchard thing we saw on the design. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cool. All right, we're going to have to start heading out now because we have to head to the airport. I love these icons they've got for the new things coming. Mm -hmm. I like the new Epcot logo. The, with the new font. Yeah, I like it all. Very retro. Yeah. Oh. I love a t-shirt with just the new logo and not the lettering, just the logo. It won't be long until that whole building's gone and a brand new Moana water, water walkthrough attraction is here. Mm, very so. nice. What was in there before? Uh, it was intervention, so it was like exhibits and stuff. Oh, okay, that's that's where and the that's old patch was. That's also where the old character meet and greet was, I think. Yeah, that's where we went to cool down though in 2016, isn't it? Uh, yes, it was. We just uh, me walking across the benches because they were cold. Remember that? <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> What a shot, what a shot, <laughs> what a shot. All about those B-roll shots for you guys. Very nice. So nice in here. Isn't it nice? It is, and we've got Skyliner zipping people in and out. Hello, weary travellers, goodbye peasantry. Hello. There's construction for the Ratatouille ride, which is opening in summer. I wish we got to ride the Ratatouille ride, that would be really cool. I mean... We will be riding the Ratatouille ride because we're going to Disneyland Paris! Oh, better not hit the skyline. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to wait. Next Sunday, 5pm GMT, tune in, we're going to Disneyland Paris. Thank you so much for watching the Disney Cruise Line vlog series. It's been Thank magical. Thank you for bringing me. It has been magical. Though it ended nearly stressful, we did get to see Epcot, so... Yes, we had a little tour of the Festival of the Arts, so I appreciate this may not as be as long as other vlogs, but we appreciate you sticking around. We hope you're really looking forward to a uh, Disneyland Paris series coming very soon. And uh, I can't wait. Disneyland Paris is the first one I went to, so every time I see the castle, I'm like, it's I'm, home. I'm, I'm really excited. I do love Paris, so. We'll leave you here. We're about to get our flight home and- With after, passports that we have. With passports. <laughs> and after vlogging it last time, I think I realized I don't really enjoy Finishing it on the flight, I like to finish in the magic. So in we're the gonna, magic. We're gonna leave you in the magic. So you've got the skyliner going, you've got Paris and its creation. Yep. Thank so you for watching. thank you for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the future stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time.